Hey guys, Renee and Casey here with Bargain Hunter Store Store, and we're super excited to be unboxing these tubs. And we are sorry, we haven't done any videos in a while. We have been so busy. We just got done filming 25 episodes of Storage Wars. The Barry we, Wise Show. The Barry Wise Show. Barry's back. Uh, we have been doing a lot of stuff with americascardroom.com. If you guys haven't downloaded the software, downloaded bonus code Renee, absolutely free. I play that all the time. Find me um, on the chip deals. I think that's the name I'm using on the chip deals. So, but you see my cute picture on the uh, on the table <laughs> with the, with this the sign. But uh, we we're gonna start doing a lot more videos again. The warehouse is a little messy right now because we've barely been here. No, it's not messy. You gotta be kidding me! Not Renee's warehouse messy. It is messy. But if you haven't seen the lockers where we spent twenty five thousand dollars, so all these tubs right here, uh, all these tubs right here, we haven't. These all come from the twenty five thousand dollar locker. If you guys haven't seen that video, you want to watch it. So it's a really cool video. We spent $25,000. We haven't looked at these yet. We're going to do it together with you guys. Um, we're going to sort it down and see what's up. Uh, we sold this to a friend of ours for $1,200. He has to pick it up. But he has been busy. I've been busy. So we just, we just didn't have a chance to do it yet. All right. Let's do this. What is this? So that's like 1920s. I wanted to show that one more time. Um, steam shovel. That should be two, 300 bucks on eBay easy. Kind of a nice little shovel. I wanted to show that. And then let's put this up here. And then let's show that bower bag. So sometimes in the business, this is really fun because one of the things I've been buying up is rigid lith lithium 18 volt. I've been buying all new tools for the warehouse. And here we got a little uh, AM FM radio, but I care more about the battery, which is like 50, 60 bucks. So we got that in the deal. And then down here is a couple electrical meters, field piece LT83A. You guys can look it up. I'm guessing this is probably going to be about a hundred bucks, so which is nice. Actually, I need one of these too. So, and then this right here is a commercial electric digital multimeter. You know, probably twenty, thirty bucks. I have to look up the models. The ones you really want to find for that stuff is Fluke. But I'm happy we got this. So that's the great thing about the business. You constantly get little bonus items. Do right. you mean to have this here? And it's a box of just a pop. Let's go unbox it. So this is worth money, so you guys know your books. Yeah, yearbook. So we obviously clean these and then we sell them online for 100 bucks a piece. And they sell slow, but I see people sell them for 20 or 30. And guys, if somebody wants to buy back the yearbook, if they're willing to pay 20 or 30, they're willing to pay 100. That's just how it is. What could you say the other day? Come, hobby tool set. I always need these little, little fine tools. It's brand new. Oh, yeah, you did need that the other day. Yeah, glue gun, little snipers. Let me hold on to that. I'm going to put it right here with my yeah. other tools because we can always use that. Don't lose it. The thing we're going to do, we'll just start looking through some of these tubs and see what we see. So, guys, we're just putting out a video for you guys. This is not going to be our best video, I think. But who knows? Maybe we open up a box that's full of treasures. Yeah, because we don't even know what's in the boxes. Yeah, so boxes like these, we never even completely open them up. Blue glass. Yeah, so that's like, uh, I forgot what that style is called. I'm getting all some of these days. Carnival? No. No, no, no. It's, Carnival's it's, uh, the orange one. Yeah, no, it doesn't make it that makes these. Um, you look them up. They're like usually 30 bucks now. They used to be a lot more. Just a regular vase, nothing. We could probably put that back in here. Ooh. This is cool. More time a snurt. It's a decanter. Yeah, but it's just a gym beam. I mean, like 10 bucks. Nothing to be that excited about. The question is, is there something in it? Something to drink? So I think we have a bunch of these already. So if it's the same that we have. Ooh, there is liquor in here. Smell that. Ooh, it actually smells good. It's whiskey. Taste it. I dare you take a sip. How much? Oh, no, I'd rather get paid and take a sip. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I almost fell for them. No, I would feel bad if somebody peed in it. Wild turkey to canner. Let's see. These should be blue bottles if it's the same that we have. Yep. Oh. You want to put this together real quick? Oh, that's pretty. We have like two or three of these sips already. From yeah, but they're not blue. Yeah, they are. Oh. We have too much. I don't remember. There's one. This is a pretty blue. Oh, this is different. Oh, salt, pepper shaker. Yeah, oil. Oil, vinegar. And sugar. Ah, very wise. I don't think sugar would be there, would there? Could be, why not? Or maybe ice cream. Oh, creamer. Creamer, that's what it would probably. I don't know. Maybe, who knows? I don't but, know. So the rest is just plenty. Let's put these back in it. Leave the cool Let me get the clear one. Leave the blue basket. 
If you guys want to sell us deals, look up our, our store phone number, which I don't know what it is. Oh, I can smell it from here, the alcohol. I know, right? It smells pretty good, actually. A little buttery. Oh, you want to check what's in this bag? So it seems there's sterling in here. Okay, so if you guys ever get this in the storage unit, I know exactly what this is. This is for fancy people. So you go like that. Or, well, like that. See? Oh, too bad. Oh, man. That's what I'm saying when you need a trash can. Royal semi porcelain. This is Wedgwood too. Can you just sell the lid? Yeah, let's keep the lid aside. Let's, yeah, but you need to know what the name is. Let's empty. The, it's Wedgwood, so let's empty the box and let's let's make one box we'll just fill with broken trash. Is any of this flatware? So guys, when you buy dish sets, really? a lot of times you look up stuff that's not really not like the plate is only eight ten bucks. But if you find sets that are popular, once you get soup dishes or or green dishes or things like this they actually pay good money so this is wedgwood right here you know this should bring i mean in like when i say these prices like i don't mean put it at auction and sell it in seven days because you can't hold it i'm saying put a fixed price on this and wait till somebody has the same set they're looking for it and then you get 100 bucks for this which are two pieces because yeah. what can happen is the dealer will turn around and buy it for like cheap like ten dollars yeah, and then, and then they'll put it on their ebay store and put a fixed price of let's say 89.99 and good till gone this is beautiful cut crystal oh that's really <gasps> is that that one company there's a company the ones that we have at the house so we have to find the patterns on it i, I know what yeah. you're talking about I, I don't, but i'm not sure that's really pretty do you want to see that you have it at the house yeah i mean we have stuff at the house oh, okay yeah it has nice things Ooh, marshmallows. Isn't that this a nice is... cut crystal piece? Those beautiful pieces. Yeah, I know you want baskets. <laughs> You're going down. You insist. <laughs> okay, this is a trash box now. Okay, that's the trash box. Yeah, so keep the really nice pieces out, like that Wedgwood stays out. Let's keep this in the same box so we know when we do the listing. That is a list, a lid. And then I'm gonna give you another box you can put over there and you can put some of the loose pieces in. There's no good silver utensil or anything in it? Uh, I didn't, I quick skim scammed. Probably not, but it's kind of looks like a box. Okay, so here's a record box. Let's see what we have in here. What's that? USC. But then we have stuff like this. Fair time with loudmouth Sa loud Sadie Mae. And the reason why this is good is that it's sealed. See, like any record online seal is usually 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. As long as people want to buy it. Except Christmas ones, right? Some Christmas, but then sometimes they go up too. You know, it just depends. But yeah. here we have Red Light Special 1908. And this is a record of some kind of old jukebox. And it's done in 1973, brand new seal, so that's 20 bucks. Now here's the same type of music, but open, so not that desirable anymore. But you got 40 bucks in records here. Ooh, what's, what's that under? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, cool. That is cool, I like stuff like this. What is it, a rock? It's a bullet taken from the Antietam battlefield. Get out of town. That's the first time the Confederacy invaded the North and lost really bad at that battle. September 17, 1862. That's neat. Lincoln Memorial. I like stuff like this. I think that's cool. Oh, and then we got a bunch of. I think these are Warhammer 2000 figures. So those are good. They can be all over the place. There's more Warhammer figures down there. Oh, original Grotendorfer Räucherkerzen, yeah. Das ist die bunte Mischung. <laughs> it's from Germany, so these are like smoke candles. Can you say that five times faster? No. No. Why is it no? Coca Cola, drink Coca Cola. This box is kind of cool. Oh! Money. Oh, it's a cash register. Actually, no, that's like 10 bucks in here. Cool. So like if little kids are selling lemonade, they just have their Coca-Cola little cash holder. This is I cool. Twelve quarters. Yeah, it's like ten bucks. But you know what's really cool? I mean, these trays are metal. This box is metal. So this is an old box. Cool. Put that aside. Retirement. Here we come. It's like a penny there from like 1861. <laughs> Thirty-two million dollars. Penny for your thoughts. Oh, microphone's still good. Perfect. Right. 
and uh, we don't have to. subject matter. So you guys let us know in the comment sections if you want to see more unboxings. Because I'm gonna be honest, lately the like button hasn't been destroyed, and then I was like, eh, you know what, the like button is winning the battle. I'm like, maybe I don't want to do that many videos. But when you hit that like button, you show love for the channel and support it. It's absolutely free. Smash it. Smash it, destroy it. But if the like button controls us, it's not good. So like some of these plastic tubs are just regular swap meat stuff, you know, it's like. But like I said, we got boxes everywhere. So if you guys hit that like button, we're gonna unbox all kinds of stuff together. Boxes everywhere. Yeah. Okay, um, let's do this one. Breakable. Okay. More blue glass. Everybody loves blue glass. Cut ways. You know, this stuff used to be also, oh. Yeah, you gotta look. Oh, I see it. Thomas. Yeah, I see it. I can't read it. Thomas. So that's why you always hold it to the Fame. light. Thomas Fame. I don't, I'm not familiar with that. And you do it slowly because there's always like an etching engraved of the, the maker. Not part. always. What you want to find always is Lalique, Baccarat, Wedgwood. Not Wedgwood, Waterford. Yeah. Lalique is like super high end. Lalique and Baccarat is the ones you want to find. Imagine getting stabbed with that, man. So this one is good. I cannot see it either. I must want to say this. Well, but this is hand signed. Oh. So you gotta figure out who the artist is on this one. That's super fun for Christmas. That's the thing? Yeah. You want it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I have too much Christmas stuff. That's pretty. Pink roses. Oh, yeah. uh, it's more dishes and art. Nothing. Sorry guys, these boxes are not that exciting to be honest, but that's what you gotta do. We're gonna check it all out together, right? All right, we're treasure hunting. We don't know, so. Here. We get that one over here. Sorry. Oh, is it heavy? <laughs> yeah, make sure I do all that. Hey, lifting. we're all equal these days. Okay. This one is fine. Wedgewood. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, that's really nice. So these are soup bowls. So I'm going to look these up on eBay. And, and I'm going to put it in the name. video. This is Wedgewood set Columbia and W595. So guys, the biggest misconception on China sets, people call me, hey, I got a set that's 200 years old and you should buy it and I want $50 million for it because it's so <laughs> old. But on most China sets, unless you get like super, super rare stuff, you know, on the early, early days from like, that was high society. But most China sets, what this day is, what sets the value is not how old it is, but how popular of a set it was. That's why, what's the one set that we use? Is Franciscan where? The mm -hmm. thing is called? Rosewood. The, not, not Rosewood, but something rose. There's a rose or so. Yeah, there's a rose. It's the most popular American set ever sold. So a lot of people are constantly looking for replacement pieces. So if this is a popular set that people have and they look for replacement pieces and they need like four or five soup bowls and they have a set for like 18 people or 12 people and they want to do their Thanksgiving, they'll pay you 20 bucks a soup bowl. They'll pay you 30 bucks a soup bowl, depending on what it is. So eight soup bowls, 240 bucks, you know? Exactly. And Wedgwood is a really good set, yeah. These are actually pretty. Put hmm. this box aside. Are you want to keep on going? Yeah, let's see. Actually, this whole box is Wedgwood. More soup bowls. It's so like Beauty and the Beast a little bit. And then... Uh, the, plate, the, the plates are Beauty and the Beast. Oh. I'm not saying that you guys are... <laughs> you got all of it. She was calling me the Beast. You know, she's... And you're the Beauty. She's 15 on Monday. She almost made it. I was just saying that the dishes are, you know, yellow and roses, you know? You know, it'd be a sure shame to get this close to 15 and not make it. <laughs> I think it's really pretty. It, it's Beauty and the Beast. Look, see? Yeah. It's very nice. No, I'll just be one in a second. Let's see what's in the bottom here. So what do you... Okay, these are all more dishes. So what do you want to find on these? Oh, yeah, these are beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you should put the box over here on my side. Okay, be really careful. I'll break this. This is really heavy, so I bet you... Maybe yeah, you need me to lift it. Well, then, no. It's okay. You probably have the full set in there, honestly. It's So, I, yeah, we, I see soup bowls. I see coffee plates. I see dishes. Oh, okay. I see dishes. Okay, let's put this in here. Let's put all the pieces in. We'll put it. Under, we'll just put it right under the table. So what you want to find in these obviously is the big soup bowls, the gravy bowls, the serving platters, because all those pieces are like a hundred bucks and up. Lid right here. Okay, do you, you want to look at should I just do it? I got oh, it. I okay. got it. Okay, put it on me. It's only funny the first time. The second time it's kind of cruel. And when Daddy's not looking. Yeah, I know. Looks like we have a new Wedgwood set. Let's see what else we find. But that was a really cool box, guys. I guarantee you that box I'm gonna pull out. Five hundred to a thousand dollars without even Ooh. looking at the pattern, but 
You're gonna like this box. There's some exciting stuff in here. This out, this is really cool. Oh, I thought it said pimp. It says Timmy Racer. Fine. So these, we actually have all the boxes. These are newer, but they're made by Hallmark. But I looked these up online. They go anywhere from 20 to 75 bucks a piece, depending which ones you have. So let's put that aside. And it has a lot of weight to it. Yeah, no, this is good quality. So this is Hallmark 2 little uh, Coke box. Actually, no, this is actually Coca-Cola. Ooh, then, that's heavy. It's like, is it a radio? No, it's just, um, well, maybe. Oh, it's a piggy bank or something. Or, oh, it, it is, wait. Oh, maybe press the button and it makes sounds. Makes sounds, I don't know. Oh. Rock and roll vault, plastic junk. Oh yeah, this whole let's unpack this whole box and put oh, it on the table. Oh, look at this. This is vintage. Yeah, it's so these use oh I see I haven't seen this. This is another one. Crack stand crap shooter. So the the ones you find all the time is the bartender. And that used to be two, three hundred, but now they're like 40, 50 bucks. But so this should be um I mean if it's in the same price range, this one might be rare. I'm not sure I have to look it up. I've never had the crap shooter one. But it should be at least 40, 50 bucks. Put them out. Here's another hallmark. And these are all the pedal cars. And look these up. Maybe I'll pop some prices in really quick. This is a Chrysler, green Chrysler pedal car. We have all the boxes for these because they were in a different box. Let's just unpack oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot yeah. about that. And me and Tatiana, when we were going through like the trash, we're like really okay. making sure to get all these. These are, these are all minimum 20, 25 bucks a piece. We have the real one. It has a $50 yeah. price tag on it. Okay. Yeah, we have to, uh, we have to look them up. Can you see the price tag? So they obviously like pedal cars. These are smaller ones. Oh, Putting here's an old guy. Express service, Timmy Razor. Okay, that's the bartender. That's here's the, one. the bartender Renee was talking about. Yeah. We've sold this in the store before. Yeah, so, you know, in that condition, probably 40, 50 bucks. He just needs to be dusted. Yeah, they're, they're cool. They just made a lot of these. And then he has the old gas pumps. Okay, so most recently we found out that the doll from Annabelle, from The Conjuring, was a raggedy and doll. Is that the scariest thing? If you're anywhere close to my age, every little girl had a raggedy and doll back in the day. Ah! Remember what we learned in storage was what we need to look for? Oh. The what? paper hard on the really early ones, but these are knickerbockers. They're still early, but they're not the ones. We sold that, that set yeah, that I you guys saw us find on storage was that was valued really high. We sold for 1200, but this doesn't have a paper hard. Oh, so hey, let's sweet. just empty this box because everything is good in here and we can have a second trash box. Oh, that's a cool one. Sinclair. Pedal cars. And I'll just stack some stuff over just so we have enough box room. 49ers mini helmet, not signed. Do you like these, Nana? I like all these little pedal cars. The Cannonball Express Casey Jones. So we actually have the big one of this, and it's worth like a few hundred dollars. That one's at Disneyland. Casey Jr. train. Yeah, I don't know if that's the same thing though, but. No, this is different. I think it's oh. different. So this is a very common one too. Oh yeah, we've had that in the that's store. That's the one from Toy Story, remember? Yeah. Oh, that's the one from The Conjuring. Kill, 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 kill. <laughs> that is scary. It is scary. Right. Mm, let's put this aside. Just picture frame. Oh, it's Boy Scouts. Oh. Yeah, I have, I have, card? I have like a few of these. I think they're all like fifty bucks. All right, just a doll. Just a doll. Oh, this is cool. It's gonna go off in like the middle of the night and then like come into your room and then the door opens. Shut up! We'll, you're we'll, freaking we'll put me in, out. We'll put it in your room. Ooh, this guy's super scary looking. <laughs> I like wind up toys. Release. Pedal car. Oh, pedal car. Parking only. Oh, that's cool. Let's make sure because there's so many small things that we don't leave anything in here. Yeah. This guy's heavy. Oh. oh, here's a steering wheel of one. Can you put that like somewhere careful? And then these guys, they're heavy. Ooh, are they pretties? So they're, ten, they're toy soldiers, but it looks like they're self-made. These are not prints. They have no markings on them, but they're cool. Like that set is at least 20, 30 bucks and a nude woman. That's weird. I've never seen that before. Handcuffed and like, okay. That's a little freaky. A little freaky. 
gonna get the freakasoid on. I've never seen S and M uh, t toy soldiers before. <laughs> she was like, she was tied up in the back. I know, I saw that. <laughs> That's a new one. I'll let you read. There you go. Here, I'll let you read. <laughs> I was aiming for the camera. Ironstone. I think that's early American. I'm not sure about the value. Some big serving huh? place in here. Oh, that's a good one. What's up? That's nice. You just said to look for big platters. They're worth like a hundred bucks. Limoges, France. So there's a Limoges platter. This is oh, perfect Limoges? Right now because people buy them for Christmas Yeah, I know people buy them. Oh, it has a chip right here, unfortunately. I think Thanksgiving, Christmas, and like all these times right here, like the winter fall time was the best time to sell dishes, yeah. right? These are just platters. Right so Thanksgiving is the best time, especially when you have, um, what we used to do, we used to like list more, before we were like a little bit bigger and a little bit more selective. But we used to take like, we used to actually buy China stuff from people and swap them when they were good and good name brands. And then we just list them all throughout the year. And then around Thanksgiving, you sell the most sets because people want to bring out the fine China, a plate is broken. I think I sold the most dishes in like the fall winter time at the store. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, everybody's looking for stuff too, yeah. But even online. <laughs> it's like somebody ate the That's nasty. Pegasus fine porcelain. This whole box is that set. Oh my god, they're all dirty. It's, I don't know, this is a shit box. Junk box. Let's see. Well, it's kind of a shame because it was pretty. I mean, if it's pretty, you just wash it, but yeah. no big deal. But still, don't stir your dishes dirty, guys. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, it makes it really hard when we buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're making me have to do more work. Thanks. Convenient. Here's more that wet, no. semi vitrous. This looked like the bitch, what's in? Can you read that? I, it's like... No, these are really old. Okay. Stamp is... Just making sure it wasn't my eyes. <laughs> Flurry, I can't read that one. Let's see what else is in there. Some kind of serving plate. Oh, Pretty. wow. You like that? Yeah. Anything Harmony that's house. old lady, Tatiana, like gets super floor. excited. She's just like 70s and this is Japan, so this is like totally up her alley. And I'm always like... Old lady stuff. It's okay, you know, the generations like. No, so the I know. stuff that we didn't want from our grandparents and parents, we threw away, and now we have our stuff, and now it just always skips a generation. They were like, Grandma was a sexy mofo. <laughs> <laughs> so this whole box is fine porcelain, hand painted steel collection. So we're not gonna pack all the porcelain right now. I'm trying to find more interesting stuff. Unless you guys want to become the porcelain channel. But if you guys want to see like what good stuff porcelain we pull out, just keep on watching our eBay, eBay uh, channel. it all get listed. We have an eBay channel? Well, our eBay listings, so yeah, people I'm follow it. Yeah, I'm just making fun. Why, why are you trying to be funny, huh? Why are you trying to be the funny one? That's his job. Yeah, how do you do? Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. This is pretty. pretty. Look at that. Oh, I love the blue glass. I like the blue glass. Are they sterling? Wow, we've never sold anything like that before in our store. Is that a lamp or something? What is it? No, so no. that's probably going to be sugar in the middle, and these are sugar. Oh, or is like or jam? Or jam, yeah, it could be jam. That's fun, or like honey, or probably not honey. Is it sterling? So this is the same what? thing. What? It's not, it just says Rogers, it doesn't say sterling. Oh, okay. Here, but you want to keep it together? Yep. You want to put this underneath for right now, for a second? So we should have blue ones. I think wow, this that's is another. a big one. Oh, here, this is clear. Here, this goes in there. Pretty. Oh, the handle's pretty. different. Oh, oh, I almost broke it. Okay, the handle's different than the other one. That's neat. I like this handle better. You know what? I'm surprised. You haven't cut yourself at all. Huh? Oh, this is yeah, pretty. We're not done yet. Oh, give me, give me oh that's pretty. This is really pretty. Man, in the 90s, I would get like $200 for a piece like this. Now you're lucky to get Serious? like 30 Oh, yeah. Oh. But you know, like I said, the young kids are starting to like it again. I like it. Yeah. What's this? Serving with sort of like a fruit tray. So you can bring this, have fruit in there or something, but it's all messed up. Okay. I can't read it, I gotta clean it. Yeah, just, just Pyrex. Here's a bunch of, put this box underneath the table on the corner there with the other pieces. Put that back in there. Cause this box is kind of falling apart. 
Hey, put this in case we're missing pieces. Put both pieces in there. So we'll clean that up off camera, guys. And you know when he says we, he means me. <laughs> now we'll sort it down. England. Lucan's on England, I can't read it. This piece is beautiful right here. Oh, oh. Is it broken? No, this is... Um, oh, it's for straws. How cool is that? That's cool. I don't think that's very old, though. That, this is a new piece. Yeah. So cool. It's so cool with the blue. I care about money. Oh, this is nice. Oh, that you do? One. Yeah. Yellow? <laughs> I don't think that's that old. It's like 70s, maybe. Yeah. Can I put that aside? Okay. Crystal towel. So a little bit better, but nothing crazy. These plastic boxes, I'm glad that we're going through these right now because they're not that crazy. So, um, they're not that. Then we can sort these down and get more. So. What's the best thing you've found so far right now? Yeah, that's hmm. a good question. Maybe. Probably the best thing that's going to sell the fastest is probably that pedal car collection. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, like all the pedal cars, people like stuff like that. That'll just probably sell the fastest. Good answer. Yeah, you know. These are all light bulbs in here. It hasn't been super exciting, but you know, we show what we find, so. Right. These are all light, light bulbs, supplies. Hummingbird feeder. Hummingbird feeder. So we'll probably go through this box pretty quick. Let's put it down here. And then um, a lot of this probably will just get trashed. We'll keep the light bulbs what we need. Fried dog. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Trash. That's kind of cool cup though. Too bad it's broken. Don't mess with Texas. <laughs> yeah. Give that to Grandma. Now yeah, the she's... Grandma moved to Texas. There you go. Coffee this, this coffee tastes kind of shitty. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Is that was that a name from? Oh yeah. Big mouth. Oh. Whoa, big whoa. mouth. Wait a minute. That's like perfect. You always wanted a big coffee cup. There you go. Yeah, I don't like the way it holds though. <laughs> M and M's. So this whole box seems to be like collectible coffee mugs, ice cream cups. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, out of the $25,000 locket, these are probably some of the crappiest boxes so far. A lot of good stuff is here, but we haven't had a chance to get to it yet. You showed yeah. that pump. I, I talked about it earlier, right? We sold it. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. This, oh, this box is really heavy. What's in here? Can you help? Nope. <clears throat> okay, so he has a lot of actual pedal cars and stuff like this. These are obviously old wheels. Some of these are new. Let's see what's all in here. Awesome top. These are new. These are some kind of old wheels. Wheelie. What else is there? Plastic. Okay, let me take that. Huh? Take that out so you don't hurt anyone. Wanna throw away the plastic? These are pedal car parts. Can I throw away the plastic? Uh, no, because I don't know where it goes with uh, yet. It's probably junk. I'll get it out. Okay. These are replacement pieces for some kind of pedal car. Obviously newer ones. Man, our storefront is going crazy. We went closed for like eight months. You can stab somebody with that. Oh, it's Saturday, that's right. Hi guys, I'm a big fan of the show. I just want to tell you, can you please hit Dave Hester, punch him, knock him out when you <laughs> see him, right? That's what we get a lot the of. phone and say, hey, it's supposed to be just calm down. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be mean. Go check us out. We have yeah. it on Google that it's closed. Yeah, but they don't need to know. Well, if you're calling to sell us your collection, we'd gladly oblige that phone call. It's just funny. Everybody always tells us, hey, when you see Dave Hester, knock him out. And we're like, uh, we don't want a lawsuit. Yeah, we're not, we're, we don't do stuff like that. But here, look, there's parts for Victor Rolla. So you can actually sell these separate, the needles, the heads. The rest is just parts for like, um, like newer replacement parts for like those little carts, pedal Let's carts. Thank you. So he's trying to sell us Beanie Babies. <laughs> hey, don't knock it. You can sell them for two bucks each. What's in here? Or there are some that you can actually, people are buying in our store for two dollars and they're selling for like six to eight to twelve dollars, oh, yeah, depending on the animal or, you know, the pattern. 
<sighs> Should we call it a day here? Because we have to clean this up. Are you telling me you want a sandwich? I do need a sandwich. But this is an unboxing video. That was okay. We did a little unboxing. It wasn't that exciting, to be honest. But if you guys want to see more unboxing, you want to see some of the better stuff, and you don't want us to go through it and just but share it with you guys, leave a like, leave a comment. By well, liking the video, that tells us that you want to see more of this. Exactly. Even though these boxes were kind of crappy, to be honest. Even put a comment in, you know? Should we see what's in this big box? Yeah, let's see box? what this is. This is probably the most exciting. And he was like, bye. No, I forgot what I put down here. Oh, oh actually, wow. It actually is a good box. You're just trying to get in there? Okay, hold on. Here. Yeah, you just did it. Here. Do you want to... Um, City Fire Department? Do you want to pause real quick? Because I'm at 1548. No, just run it through. Okay. Roy Rogers guitar. I think you looked this up when we found it, right? Yeah, it was like 30 bucks, I think. Take it. Me, but it was something. Take it. Old bottles. Sorry, Casey. You're fine. This is junk. I mean, it needs to be cleaned. What's this? This looks wow, really look cool. Wow, look at that. It's just... Oh, I put that guy in there. Yeah, it's a decoration piece, but still, that's a cool piece. I like it. Put that in our yard or something. Some people put garden gnomes, we put antiques. There's a bunch of power tools in there. Oh, you know, I remember that I put this in there. Oh, this, I think you, I've had stuff in there and you put stuff in there. This lamp is no, kind of cool. No, you told us to put like anything that was like breakable in the box or like anything that was like loose, put it just in the box. There's a bunch of Santa's in I don't remember like that, but I'll take your word. Uh, Tatiana's baby brother. I put that in there. It was weird, man. I'm gonna sleep next to you every night now. I think it screamed for help when I put it in. <laughs> Looks like the little boy from Pet Cemetery. Oh Got my the god. Wall nailed on good. How much is that worth? That looks good. I have to look up the model. Oh, but it's probably new at least 300. Yeah, so, so like that's you, probably the most expensive thing we've found thus far. On single piece, yeah. So I mean actually this unit had a bunch of power tools and stuff. Yeah. And big so nail stay guns. tuned because they're it's in here. <laughs> the better boxes are along here and then also with the brown boxes with the old stuff. So I, kn I knew these steps were kind of not as great. That's why I left them in this corner so we can do them quick and get rid of them. But anyway, guys, like, subscribe, and show love to the channel and you get a lot more videos, right? Yeah. Woo!